Well, you know, this article was published in 1994, but actually we had conducted the research um, a number of years before that. It was one of those situations where my co-author, Lisa Veronis, and I became involved in other things, and so these data sat for quite a while. Um, I'm not really sure when we collected the data, but it was definitely before 1987, because that's when I left uh, the University of Michigan, um, where Leitz and I had been colleagues, and that's when I went to Michigan State University. So to think about the context at the time the data were collected, um, I'd like to think back on two other SSLA articles that had been influential at the time. One was by Mike Long about 10 years earlier, and another one was by Lisa and me. Um, we came to our collaboration uh, with different backgrounds. She with one in sociolinguistics, and I came with a background in linguistics. And prior actually to this um, publishing this article, we had already published five or six others, all dealing with native and non-native conversations. Um, when we started, we had originally been interested in the structure of these conversations and how this, that structure was similar to or different from conversations when only native speakers were involved. In fact, we had a publication in 1985 in Applied Linguistics where we addressed just this point as we developed our model for understanding these conversations. But importantly, the link to actual learning or acquisition was only indirect in these earlier days and our 1994 article went right to this point. Well, because this was this uh, study was actually conducted so long ago, it's hard to remember back to the days when we actually planned the study. Um, it was done probably 30 or even more years ago. But what, when I, what I think we thought was that the approach was novel because we were trying to show more than an indirect link between input and input interaction and the outcome, which we were really interested in, which was learning, of course. But I do think the findings were pretty much in line with what we had expected. Um, by manipulating the a priori interaction, what we wanted to show was how a specific type of input or interaction would or would not impact production, something which we had addressed um, in earlier work but only by inference and not something that we had demonstrated directly. So we hope that this would be the outcome and um, fortunately it was. Well, again, you know, given the length of time between now and then, it's hard to remember precisely what we were thinking. Um, but I do remember having some inkling that we had um, interesting data. In 1993, Leitz and I were together at a surf conference um, was sponsored by Carnegie Mellon and the University of Pittsburgh. We were there in Pittsburgh, and we were listening to papers on the topic of interaction. Um, and we started talking about how our data would address some of the issues that were being debated uh, at this conference. So. Um, we talked about the research, and I remember thinking that it was time to dust off our data and seriously consider writing it up, uh, our results. But, you know, life circumstances had made it difficult do it, do, uh, to do it closer to the time of our data collection. We had initially worked on it when we were both at the English Language Institute at the University of Michigan, and then by 1993, when we actually wrote it up, um, I was already at Michigan State University, and um, Lisa was at the University of Akron. So it did take us a while to get back to it, but we did think that the data were important. Um, I will say that when we started asking editorial board members for nominations, and I do as an aside, um, neither I nor Bill Van Patten, um, who was then co-editor of SSLA with me, we had no say in selecting who was to be included in these most um, impactful articles other than counting the so-called votes. But when I saw that um, this article had been nominated, I was pleased, obviously, to be included. But at the time of writing the article, I only knew that the data were interesting and that they would address important issues being discussed at the time. 
but I didn't have a good sense of um, that it would necessarily be as influential as it has turned out to be.